Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Platform of Learning Linguistics. Today we're gonna talk about the Cyberwolves hypothesis. As we know that language plays a big role in our lives, but can it affect the way we think? This hypothesis was proposed by Cyber and Wolf, who was a student of Cyber in the early 20th century. This hypothesis tries to answer the above question. And this hypothesis is mainly consists of two principles or we can say propositions which are number first linguistic determinism, the second is linguistic relativity. The first one, linguistic determinism, is a stronger version of the two. This proposition refers to the idea that a person's language determines or either restricts or enables their ideation or thought. For instance, if a language lacks a word to define a certain concept, a linguistic determinist would infer that speakers of that language would not be able of understanding that concept. Conversely, if a person speaks a language that is multiple definitions for one concept, lin linguistic determinist would argue that he or she must have a better understanding of what's being defined. This principle has been rejected by many because, for example, take the word Schadenfreude, which is a German term and means to take pleasure in another's unhappiness or sadness. There is no translatable equivalent in English, but it would not be true to say that English speakers had never experienced or would not be able to comprehend this emotion. This logic seems to disprove Wolf's hypothesis. Similarly, in French language, stone and tour are categorized and featured as living things or animate things. But it does not mean that they understand stone and door animate in its real sense. They do not cry if they crush a stone. Now, let's move ahead towards the second principle of the Cyberwolf's hypothesis, that is the linguistic relativity. It's the weaker version of the two. It proposes that language influences the way we think, but does not inhibit or control their ability to comprehend experiences. There are many examples which justify and exemplify this idea. For instance, different people have different languages, and hence different world views as well. Take the word, for instance, snow. Areas where snow falls frequently, people of such areas assign different names to it because of their frequent experiences. And uh, they may know about the falling snow or the snow in the air and the fallen snow or the snow on the ground and may assign different names to each. But areas of no snowfall may not do the same because their language may not contain separate words for snow in the air or snow on the ground. Thus, it proves that language influences our thoughts, but unlike linguistic determinism, it does not inhibit or control our ability to comprehend experiences or our experiences. So it was all about the Cyberwolf's hypothesis and in the last I would make a request to please subscribe to my channel.